Okay, we're back looking at saving time in Xero in this video. And I'm going to show you how to use Xero keyboard shortcuts. If you're the type of person that prefers using a keyboard to a mouse, then this video is definitely for you. Okay, I need to do a bit of funky recording here to get this to work for us, but we're looking at zero shortcuts and hopefully you're going to be able to watch me on my keyboard. So we're not going to be using the mouse, we're only going to be using the keyboard. The first one you want to be aware of is the forward slash. And if you hit the forward slash, that takes you into the search box. Then what can you do? You can do A and that takes you to all bank accounts. Now you still don't need to use the mouse, you can just hit enter. Okay, so let's try again, forward slash B, all your bills, and there's your bills. Forward slash C, all your contacts. Forward slash, and bear with me as I'm trying to remember them all, F, and that takes you straight to the files section in zero forward slash I, and that takes you to all invoices, all sales invoices. Forward slash P, takes us to all purchase orders. We don't have any. Forward slash Q, takes us to all quotes. In our demo company, there's not much here. If we want to go back to the dashboard, forward slash D. Okay, let's go to a new sales invoice and let's look at some shortcuts on the date field. Who's our invoice to? Well, it doesn't really matter. When we move to the date field, it defaults to today's date. If we want yesterday, let's try typing Y-E-S. There you go. If we want tomorrow, T-O-M. Okay, what about a certain amount of days? If we want plus seven, a week from today. Remove that. If we want a week earlier, minus seven. There's a few other things you can do with dates. I don't use an awful lot of them, but play around with them and find what works for you. So that is zero keyboard shortcuts. Another superpower to add.